We spent uh, many of the months of development that we've done on the NFC ring working on this privacy and security of the inlay. Now, if you're going to use your, your NFC ring to unlock a phone or to um, unlock a door, you've really got to make sure that nobody else can copy your, the information that's stored on the ring um, or, or get any of the inlay details itself. So we, ha we, help, we did that with, with the two-prong approach, really. You'll notice that on this ring here, we've got this larger section here that says public. I can actually just color that in. Let's give that a yellow color so we can see that. Just paste it down. So this is the public section up here, right? This this whole big section. And the public section stores your stuff that you don't mind sharing. So if you're on a night out and somebody wants your Twitter URL, use the public section, no problem at all. And that sits at the top of the, the hand. So to share that information, you'd use, say, a punch gesture or, or a bump gesture and it's really like a like a peer I'm passing you my information type type thing now what you'll spot at the bottom is we've got this private inlay now this private inlay which stores uh, your private information so, you know you'd use this for maybe unlocking a door or um, unlocking a mobile phone you really don't want to be sharing this uh, with anybody this is just for you and this goes at the bottom of the hand um, this means that when you if you know if you do if you do see somebody if you if you sat at a table you know people tend to sit with their with their uh, palms down on a table you know very few people sit there with their palms open um and it just it adds that extra level of, of personal security it's, it is easier to uh to clinch your fist to stop somebody from being able to get information it's just a really quick thing where it's it's quite difficult and and slower to turn the 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 whole wrist over and um, yeah, so it makes sense that the public stays on the top, private stays on the bottom. So that's that's why we designed it um, with two inlays in mind and with a, a public and a private. Um, you can think of it as a public and private SSH key if you're familiar with SSH. Now, um, on top of that, you'll notice that um, the public one is larger. Now that's kind of obvious because, you know, it's less secure, but it also means that if someone's got a reader that's say over here, right? So let's let's do this in a nice big black. So this is our NFC reader. I'm gonna do that a big R. And this is gonna try and read anything that kind of goes into this space out here. Now what you'll notice is that that is that therefore is that this reader here is inducting the public sec section. So whilst we're at the top, we're absolutely fine. You're not gonna be able to induct the private. But what we did, because we realized, well, what if there's a really strong reader in the room and uh, and it tries to induct uh, the private. Well, what you get is this. So let's say the reader is here, and this is going to try and get your private information. What you're going to find is it's going to create this. So this is how how the radio field will look. Not obviously, no, this isn't scientifically accurate, but um, you'll see that it's creating this ra radio field. And what it does is it inducts a public and the private key. Now this is really important, and this is really important because that means that as it's trying to induct both the public and the private. Uh, inlays um, what will happen is they'll both try to respond but because of the way the NFC is designed it'll send um, small bits of information about each but they'll be in completely the wrong order so induction of the coil will work but the actual communication won't be able to to work and it'll completely fail and the same applies um, for if we have the reader at the bottom here but it's really far away. So you can imagine this is like a foot or so away. So really far for us is say anything above two or three centimeters. We are talking small distances. Um, if this is here, then if it's just powerful reader, such as two or three centimeters, it will actually fail. Um, and this is by design. And this is to stop essentially people, uh, I don't know if war, war driver might be the, the right word, but we're trying to just basically collect your private NFC information from a distance. In our opinion, that is worst case scenario where somebody can exploit the security of the NFC ring. Um, we've worked really hard on solving this problem and we think that, and we're pretty sure that this is the the uh, the, the silver bullet that we were looking for. Um, so hopefully you'll be you'll be confident with using your NFC ring for, for secure operations and we're looking forward to, to seeing people get creative with how they use it.